Oh, wow, it isn't even the bigger ones. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, nice and safe in the Fortress of Ice. Thanks for messing around in Vampire Fire Survivors 226. Vampire Survivors, Beswick 226. Pretty. Luminaires heading to Neo Galaga and showing off some of the Arcana combinations with Prismatic Missiles so you can see how well they can compare to each other. Well, I am. Oh wow, right what I want. Oh, and of course, you know. Rosary. I'm gonna start. Duh, who cares about anything else when you can just do that? Down. You clear the whole screen instantly, nothing else matters. Well, until it becomes immune to Rosary, anyway. Bam. Oh, can I just go grab the weapon pickups because I can do that. Yay, Neil Galga. Oh no, what could I possibly do? Could I possibly get some help? Okay, oh, grenade. Alright, I'm gonna be using that secret passage up here. Through the forest after I get the weapon pickup. Instead of having to go all the way around with Neo City, you can just go up this way. Let's see. Not a lot of full map clearance. Also, I don't have my old sanctuary yet. So I'm gonna be doing more damage. I suppose in theory, because of the rosary effect, she could probably get the greatest wave clear in the game. It's here, isn't it? Yeah. Of course, it's flashing light like nonsense, but hey. Fire the prismatic missile. Can I evolve anything yet? No, despite all that, no. Just in case the first chest can evolve. I'll get the pick up first. Well, oh, I have that weird revival effect, too, on the back end. I have a lot of revives. Nothing's gonna stop this. Okay, there's Crown Prismatic Missile lucked out. Let's see if that will give me Luminaire. It does not. Alright, rush for the other chest and the Arcana. Arcana is very far away. Hmm, gotta grab the URL again. You know, now that I think about it, <laughs> you have both Luminaire and Genevieve purple version on the map. You trigger both effects, right? So you'll clear the whole stage, then get that vacuum effect going at the same time. So then that'll get you another level. Which you then use Trigger the Rosary and get another level. It's fairly ridiculous. So you just need to combine good and evil. Now what would you call that? Like Luminaire and Genevieve Ultimate Combination? Strongest Combination? Is Luminaire and Genevieve Strongest Combination? Oh, weapon pickups up here. I mean, heck, if you get enough eggs on her, that she's instant leveling up, constantly, what's gonna happen? Nothing but victory. Nothing but victory. Yeah. 
I really need to position the mic better. It's hard to do it when I have to constantly fiddle around with it. It hits positioning. Words! Yeah, I'm strangely hungry, Sue. Words. Words. Well, that can't evolve. Or can it? Well, I'm gonna need to stop moving soon. Get them blasting. Get that Twilight Requiem going. Not much in the way of curse, so the Twilight Requiem is not doing the bonus damage, but Wicked Season, we could do a ton more. Oh, there's the dragon. Blast you with that. Your rosary doesn't whip you out either, dang. Get that nice, solid evolution going. Alright, which one is it going to be? Is it going to be Luminaire? Is it going to be... Undoubt. Luminaire. Which, frankly, I think is sometimes worse than the base version. See the fact that enemies are now getting in on me. Oops, wrong one. Well, speed is good, actually. For a Rune Tracer, like one of the only ones where you would actually want speed. So you get enough area anyway. Man, double amount on Lightning Ring. That don't beat all. At least I got Luminaire first. Jeez, that would've been triple amount already. Well, at least I can do two thirds of it. I'm likely, I don't think Lightning Ring got a single level up or single solo pick there. So two thirds should be enough. We go quickly, quickly onwards to the chest, get the arcana, get that silent old sanctuary, and be loud. Be loud against the dark night. You will cry, Red Falcon. And you will be hunting down like the bird of prey you are. Because that's a challenge. Oh man, I got the regular arcana chest first. That's never a good sign. Well, I'm going to get it first. Hey, rapid fire. That'll change this paradigm. Ooh, Galu goes bye bye. Silent, that old sanctuary. Alright, now we got the power. What am I getting for my last one? Yeah, I don't need a wake. Huh. Is that beginning? Not great. Actively detrimental? No. Is it a counterpart? Nope. No bouncing. Oh, boogaloo, duh. I mean, sure, I'm pretty high level, but still, I'll get plenty more. I am Luminaire after all. Or she is Luminaire after all. I am mezzing around. Oh, duration. Nice big level up here. Ooh, more amount. Don't know how much duration actually affects Luminaire, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. It should be a chest coming up soon with a boss. You wait for it to show up and grab that Warologian somewhere around here. It's down there. Okay, there you are. That can't be you. You're much too... really? 
Oh, there's Thunderloop. Now I can hit random always, as long as it's not endless amount in a row. Oops. And it's time to punch some Atlanteans. Whatever it is, it'll be fine. Watch them rune tracers do the work. And it's toasted. Hey, it's Melissa in time. How far down is yellow? Who knows? Gold down here, though. It's quite a busy way. Now it's not. Boy, howdy, once you get down here, it's gonna be a nightmare. Wait, you got stuck on that, really? Come on, I wanted a rune tracer bomb you. And you aren't even getting in. You're the most pathetic Atlantean of all time. Rune Tracer bombing! I mean, I suppose I could get no future out of candy boxes, but that doesn't get Twilight Requiem, which is what I really want to take advantage of. See how well that does. I love, of course, doing Jail of Crystal into. Oh, I should have started out with Jail of Crystal and Out of Bounds. Oops. That way I could get the Double Arcana. Well, I, I suppose I'll have to go inverse for next, right? Yeah, the challenge stage. Oh, uh, it's gonna be the laboratory. I don't feel right. Well, something along the way. Yeah, man, those room tracers are getting pretty dang big, especially since I don't have much in the way of actually buffing them up with. Other stuff. It's all natural limit break. Fifty K. Not quite what you need. That's three fifths. And three fifths would be at sixty thousand. Keep on pace. Oh. I completely forgot I was going for you. And you came out fast. Huh. Does it stop you from getting red gems at all? Or are the big red gems? Do they not concentrate like they should? Hey, it's a nice chicken surprise. Not the rune tracer bombing. They are, well, not threatening, but still more durable. Oh. No, their durability is the same, it's just they don't go down as swiftly. What did I get hit by? Why did I let anything hit me? That's the bigger question. It's Luminaire Foscari. Nothing should be touching her. Freedom! Freedom for my rune tracers! Oh hey, that actually creates a little nook. Even the fake Magus can't survive this. What hope does anything else have? Well, I guess Taka will be doing Taka things. Oh, right, it's over there. Oh, it's so easy to forget. That's where the Armadillo is. But Silver Ring and the Moon Atlantean are this way. Stuck in their weird little niche. One that will be really great for Rune Tracer. Wow, oh, especially with rapid fire. Bye bye, Atlantean. Thanks for the crown. Uh oh. Concentrate that power, nothing's getting in here. Obviously, excellent on Tiny Bridge, and really. Really, I don't think I've actually had a single character be on Tiny Bridge with Room Tracer, have I? I think I'd learn.
How badly will Rune Tracer destroy Tiny Bridge? Find out now on episode 488. Probably. At this rate. I mean, Pascalina's gotta go there sometime. Wait, howdy. That was rumbling. I knew it was somewhat under eating, but still. I got that stomach wanting good old food. And that's why I've disciplined myself. I'm not going to just give in most of the time. Sometimes I will. Yeah, I wait for the proper time to eat. And then that'll keep my metabolism going. Yay, metabolism. Uh, 25 is 1, 6. 16 times 5 is 80. No close, but no cigar, it seems. Especially if I go for big fuzz. Oh, and Taka's doing nothing. As you'd expect Taka to do. Nothing. Maybe I should have paired this with Bracelet, done like a double set. Oh, Moon Nolantian clone. Yay. Man, upfront DPS's big hit damage is terrible. Really was concentrated on the Rune Tracer below up. Still, she's got such a great amount of levels that they really can't overcome it. That well. There's the big fuzz button. And even if it does well, 11. 11 revives. What's stopping that? Nope, Taka's down. Alright, let's go beat up big fuzz. I can actually find how to get there. Attacking it aggressively. Too aggressively. It's causing problems. There we go. Look at all them rune tracers still going. And a power up too. Alright. No. Oh, huh. the sides are only for me, not for rune tracers. Should probably fix that. I don't need to move. No random events are going to fire off. Moving is for squares. And I'm a circle. Oh no. Truly, what will my nine revives do? Win. They will win. Hey, more experience, Jim. And the white hand cometh. I'm not moving. Hey, look at that health gar up. None can escape. The white hand. All right. Hmm. Hmm. So Twilight Requiem isn't shown for some reason. Huh. Oh, about that inverse. Yeah, no, not on Green Acres. Not on Green Acres. Or maybe yes on Green Acres, because, well, this is still going to be problematic. I got the Rune Tracer immediately. That's good. And the Magic Wand. Because, oh boy. I didn't need that
and freeze up as much as I can. Uh, so because this is the only one that, you know, lowers its damage, or damage is dependent on a random proc chance, it can ultimately be the weakest one. On the other hand, the ever nice advantage of freezing things means you're much safer. Well, no. What am I talking about? I'm just going back in circles. The hunger has caught me. A gem. I might actually want fully one first. But yeah, once if things aren't freezing, which will happen eventually, Jail Crystal and Out of Bounds lose their power. And you would need to have garlic to break that. Garlic or soul eater to break that. If you want to go that, well then you're probably not going that. Aha! Obviously, if you're on a six-run streak, it's going to be much better. But when you're extremely limited, like I am with this setup, well, the results will speak for themselves once things that don't freeze show up. Also, the other freeze build builds videos. All right, hey, holy wand right away. All right, fast evolutions, that's good. Eh, room tracer. I can get all the early evolutions, things will happen. Yeah, XP gain will be faster. Room tracer is not maxed out yet. Let's fix that real shortly. No future is... really. No future is much faster, so we'll get more chances to actually freeze things. I need crown max anyway for... Oh, neato. I need crown max anyway for Luminaire, so no problem with that. And of course, not having the amount is not great. The only fire out... What is that, two? Two base room tracers, that's terrible. And I will need Arcana to really get this going. Yeah, I'm both Out of Bounds and Sound Old Sanctuary to go. Out of Bounds will probably be more helpful to start with. I won't get awake. Granted, with eight revivals, it's hard to fail. With 11 revivals, it would be even harder to fail, and yet somehow I'd still probably find a way. Time to charge north. Oh, no, time to not charge north. I actually want no future with speed, wouldn't I? That way it can hit... Oh, yep, that figures. Huh. I guess you're stuck behind all the slow stuff, so... Oh, right, Rosary Effect. You're no challenge whatsoever to her. I mean, it's better than... Wait, what? What is that? Does Rosary have an actual on-screen effect? Huh. I mean, I thought it was just a flash of light. I didn't know it had the same, like, pattern that Luminaire up there has. Ouch. When it gets out of bounds, it'll be... Again, really? I already banished you once, Stalker. Let's fix that another time. In theory, I could get... Oh, well, Pierce, Pierce. That'll really make Wooly One a lot better. Eh... Wow, triple pierce in a row. That's unlikely odds. With enough pierce, it'll just go through the whole everything. If that happens, its main weakness is that it can't hit too many objects. It's taken care of. And then, once I get out of bounds, there'll be just uh, multiple lasers of death. 
think I actually will need to go. It is Green Acre, so I might actually have to go selecting limit breaks the whole time. Just so I can get some amount. I mean, Luminaire hits the full screen as it is. Wow, that wasn't a level yet. There we go. More mount. More pierce. Maybe area? Since I do have pierce. A lot of pierce on it. Hey, mount. Oh, I can't believe I'm going super focused on Holy Wand, but here it is. Just because everything else is not getting their good stuff going. And it'll work out eventually, maybe. No boogaloo, though. No boogalooing. I mean, hey, if it gets full screen, infinite pierce, yellow crystal, all that goody. No. I mean, things that get close will get frozen and blasted by the Holy Wand, but my overall range effectiveness is not great. I'm not even halfway. I'm barely over halfway to getting the one-third mark. It's going up pretty well. Once out of bounds, that gets up, though. Just a bit more. Hey, more Pierce. Nice. It's really going to be dependent on out of bounds. That one's going to really rocket up the kill count. It take a while to get to the old Atlantean, too. Area. 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 Ooh, yeah. It's triple mount. Really want to mount on no future, though. Uh, for raw might, Luminaire hits everything, so... I'm stuck between a bunch of hard places. That's the one to grab. Also, I think it has the best base damage, too. Not getting hit all that often. I'm not hearing the. Wow, more luminaire. All right, now get out of bounds, and this will go crazy. Watch it go. Man, this massive increase, massive increase already. More amount. That's a lot of amount. I think that's five amount on Luminaire. Oh yeah, kill count is rocketing up now. Still need to be cautious. On the other hand, raw power is still raw power. I well, they can slightly get in if I go reckless and charge through them. Dun, 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 dun. Luminaire plus five point zero minus four point five might. Yes, I saved it eventually. The most tortured reading of words ever devised by man. Oh, yeah. I mean, you don't want might on Holy One. That would take like 50 might to get one more DPS or one more damage. The area means more things will maybe get hit. Yeah, look at how little it's doing. Even Luminaire's stuff isn't... How does Luminaire hit? I thought it was like the little beams of light, but they're not really hitting it. Huh. 14. Halfway. Two. Oh, yay, duration. That's good. I mean, neither of those are great. I don't think I've got a single amount from No Future yet. Never a good sign. I think just not having any amount going on whatsoever with No Future is going to cause it to be running the bottom tier here. 
even probably worse than Holy One. Oh, triple, though. Well, that increases it by like three seconds, won't it? Yeah, it's lasting long enough that I can actually fire off two without some old sanctuary adding on its own thing. Also, the fact that I'm not focusing on it doesn't help. Really amount that. Ooh. Everything got nuked. Oh, double nuke, even. Pierce one. Keep going with the pierce. Does duration even do anything, Pluminaire? And amount one is more helpful. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's gonna get thick enough that I think I want the pierce. No future. You got no future on that screen. There you And a vacuum. More pierce. More amount. And plenty of amount. Plenty of everything for the other two, but nothing for no future. Just a couple durations. It's kind of crazy. Now it's time to water up. I can't. Is there a water-based weapon? Uh, full Santa water. I mean, this is clearly light-based. Uh, Shadow Servant and Opinion are clearly dark-based. Fire Wand is fire. Hawk Lancet is ice. Tiny Noin is lightning. Nothing earth-based. All the, like, eight sort of classic-ish elements, that's the one that's missing, isn't it? And just no upfront damage, but plenty of wave clear between the two. Taking every level, finally, in amount. Oh, hey, that should stop you, finally. Still getting in, huh? Well, let's fix that. Yeah, that figures. That figures. Man, you're so durable here because of that bonus health. What, 12,000? 18,000? And I'm doing 40 a hit? No wonder you're not going down. And I'm getting no might on the back end either. If you weren't on screen, I'd be drinking right now. Refilling the old tank of water. Duration 100%. Might. Show them the might of Luminaire for Skari. Alright, finally a golden egg after like 10 minutes of searching. Clearly the strongest build of all time. I mean, it is Green Acres. A lot of builds would suffer here. Duration. Da -da -da. All right, 20 minutes in. That second Arcana is going to be coming in nice and soon, and with it, the victory. I hope the victory. I mean, they can't burn through eight revives, right? Eight. Yeah, that, sh that shouldn't really happen. That'd be silly. I'll level up. I'll clear the screen. Yeah, it should be no trouble for Luminaire Foscari. I don't have water next to me. There goes my plans of drinking water. Area. I basically treat this as like a live stream instead of like a recording thing. It's weird. Then again, I mean, it's not like that many people talk in the streams anyway. Uh oh. Okay, I didn't miss it. It's just at the very, very end. And now we go super mode. Oh yeah, the whole screen is just constantly frozen. They're not immune to freeze. They're toast. 
flowers only do one damage. Or maybe it's only five. Either way, with base armor, that's nothing. And I have eight armor. Why did I think it was base of or five with power-ups? It was three. So yeah, they do no damage, even with... Oh boy, it's gonna be a robot final wave. Well, I'm toast. Look at that damage. That's, I mean, it's a boss, so it has more health, but still. Still. Duration on. That's probably better. Pure concentrated fire from Holy Wand wasn't enough. Hey, I'm out. Probably should have grabbed a wake. 19 armor. They can't break 19 armor. Uh, I mean, at this level, just random always. I've got enough of what I need. Should sit near, find a vacuum or another big power up to sit near it. That way, once things get really bad, I can make it really safe for a few seconds. Now I'll go get that water. I mean, this is just a weird way to record, right? I actually go and do stuff while I'm recording it instead of like editing it out in post. Oh, whoa. Well, that could have ended terribly. And it would have been nothing but my own fault, and yet I still would have gotten mad at the game for it. As I'm an immature little brat. Despite being older than dirt. It hurts to do everything. Talking hurts. Thinking hurts. Hearing hurts. Viewing hurts. Eating hurts. Moving hurts. Sitting hurts. Sleeping hurts. Life hurts. They say life is pain. Anyone else is... Who says otherwise is selling something. Probably pain medication. Well, probably going to be the 20 and the 29 that are going to be the killers here. They're going down, they're going down, nice. Get that Aura Logan back on screen. Oh, dang it. Well, there's an NFT to help. Mino Rush! 28, and they're getting frozen. Oh, burn you down then. Don't want you dealing with when the 29 comes. And I think I, that's just enough revives to get through with no issue. I mean, if I die instantly after each mercy and vulnerability period. Plus, if I can find this dang Orologian. Nope. Oh, wow, it isn't even the bigger ones. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, nice and safe in the Fortress of Ice. It's been a while since I actually got hit, huh? Hmm. Maybe that's what I should do if I do no run for no hit run for Toasty. I have no future on because that makes it very obvious when I get to hit. And out of bounds cleans up. It does more damage than everything else combined. What a ridiculously good Archon if you can build for it. Time for Luminaire to get hectic on the highway as the final chapter of this chapter is chaptered out. Heart of Fire time. This clearly will go well. Not did a lot. Firearm. 
Oh, dang it. Did I want homing missile? I think I did. Well, either way, it's here now. I forgot. Just a few seconds and I already forgot. Empty dome. Everyone loves empty dome. Oh, can't operate a horse, so I obviously want a firearm. I get fire legs. But with empty tomb, nothing fire, heart of fire goes with that. Ooh. Must have been, well, it would have been either fire wand or candle operator. Or fire armor, one of the other DLC weapons. I mean, eventually homing mist gets pretty good. And with heart of fire, it's even better. Constant stream of high AoE damage. Well, big AoE damage. Big AoE below damage. That's the stream of it. If anything survives. Nope, nothing even close. Let's try and keep you at the edge. Dang it. I was hoping to try to get it. Oh, hey. Nonsense oh, text on that billboard there. Nonsense text. Should have focused more on getting prismatic missile up. At least with Luminaire, it would have been a lot better at getting levels. Oh. Don't get prismatic miss up, get fire legs up. Fire arm up. Fire legs is the evolution. The evolution to explode things. Fire arm. Does that mean everyone who gets firearm but Brad now has three arms? Does anyone not have two arms? I guess later. Well, I'm Brad. He's got a gun arm. Well, really, that should be two hands. How do you hold so many weapons? I don't know. I just have two hands. That means Brad is the most skilled of all the vampire survivors, because he can hold five additional weapons in addition to his gun arm with one hand. Well, everyone else is using two hands for three weapons sometimes. Usually one. But in this case, three. Also, I missed that chest, and I missed it badly. I'm gonna get worse ones. Pop out with some silent old sanctuary. Which should be coming up somewhat soon. And just an endless trail of missiles at this point. I actually want speed on them so they actually hit things quicker. Okay. Well, that doesn't matter. This does. Wow, all the way at the end, huh? Alright. Hmm. It's like the interval between firearm shots was decreased. Didn't feel like it shot this fast with Brad before things got silly with him. And I tried to overcompensate. Alright, there's an evolution. The next one should be coming up soon. Like I said, I think speed's the best pick for homing miss. It means the missiles will actually hit things sooner. And I'm out. Oh, really? Detonate's on contact. Well, I mean, it, I suppose it does pierce, so area wouldn't be too awful, I guess. Oh, no choice there. Sadly, no choice there. Man, double amount of firearm back-to-back. 
I don't think Firelogs actually gets him out. It'd be hard to tell with so many weapons and such an interval between actually using them seriously. Now it's a third amount. Fourth amount. Crazy. Whatever duration does. I'm out. More missile. More missile. He's just leveling up so fast because they concentrate so much at the top. Oh, more missiles gonna be better than anything else I grab. I haven't looped around yet. Man, this is just gonna take forever just because she levels up so fast with Crown here. You go to the bottom just so there's less gems. That was another amount, wasn't it? Oh, good grief. So many levels. So little time. Probably put enough speed into it that's getting faster than what Bracer would add on. Duration. My duration is tracked for this is weird. Whoops. Why did I think that was the homing miss? Luminaire, luminaire. More amount. A lot of amount. On the missiles. That's nice. Very down low. And I grabbed you. Now I can go random always. You can't evolve it, but hey, thanks. Alright, now random always. Just wanted to run a few to see if there was any amount. And the quite literal few stuff and mission on a few. Yes, that was a sentence that made sense. I am a good orator. What am I an orator? Orator! Oh, what a funny word. Marwind is still the greatest of all time. Take that oblivion of Skyrim. It is yours? Have a giant mud crab? Yes, because aside from rats, it's like the one enemy that's in every one of the three games. Here, what else? Well, I suppose wolves were added in. Well, and gob... Nope. Are, there, are there goblins in Skyrim? I don't think there are. I think they were sort of replaced by the Falmer. What else? I guess Karstag might have been a troll, but there's no trolls in Oblivion. Looks like rats, wolves, mud crabs, bears, I guess, too. S skeletons? Yeah, skeletons. Alright, our kind of chest exists. Well, it doesn't matter. Ghost? You know, there's not really many, well, not the same type of ghost between all three games, but yeah, there's ghosts. That's like six enemies. Um, hmm. I think that's about it. Only about six enemies. I mean, besides, like, generic bandits, but that's not pretty, pretty great. No Draugr. Oblivion. Mm. No Nick sounds. No Alex. Well, I suppose. Arc Air Gold. Hmm. Dramora. You know, I think it's literally only Dramora. Or. Oh, yeah, Antronox, too. That's three more, but. There's no Winged Twilight's Golden Saints, Ogrims. 
pellets? Heck, I don't even think... Are there any scamps in Skyrim? I can't remember. Oh, dwarven stuff too. I mean, if it's really... Right. Wait. Are there dwarves in Oblivion? I don't remember there being. Huh. Oh, bye-bye Arcana chest. Hmm. Yeah, there's like nothing dwarf there. Heck, are the Andronox in Oblivion? I can't actually remember offhand if there are. I mean, there has to be. They're like... I mean, I know Golden Saints were in the, one of the DLCs, but they were not in Skyrim. Things like vampires, I don't really count, or bandits. Uh, hmm. What else? Well, there's all those levels that's been saved up. Big Red Gem finally got through. Skip to my loom, my darling. Huh. Got 250. Gonna be the level. Oh. And once again, I missed the Arcana chest. I'm not even looking for it. I ruined the day. Not quite outspeeding the fire legs, but nothing's gonna get on this back end. Nothing should, anyway. Yikes, what? The heck is going on? Okay, you have to get that awake there, because... Why? What is this? What is going on? Their level literally so high... Their HP times leveling before they could get destroyed. I don't think... I don't remember them having HP times level. Wait, where's the Arcana chest? So far back, it's not showing up on the map anymore? Nope, here it is. Oh, this is... Odd, I guess, this sheer level. Let them get durable enough cause this. Taka blew up instantly. Oh, maybe it was Taka that was hitting me. Yeah, I probably didn't see Taka through all the stuff going on on screen. And he was the one who was pushing her to the limit. I was so distracted by Elder Scrolls, I don't even remember seeing the Magus thingy. You know what? All right, also level up at the top of the screen. Wow. Quite a lot of levels there. Imagine how it's crazy it would be with endless growth from Wicked Season power on this. Hello, Death. Blame Luminary for your own. Luminary. Bags of Fire. Did nothing. Wow. Well, we must kept up pretty well, all things considered. Hmm. Thanks for watching, Vampire Survivors. Beswick 428 is what Luminaire did as her first vengeance on the Beswick. And Green Acres was 429. And she went fast on the hectic highway. Oh, yeah. No trouble for hers. Who knows which one was the best? That was obviously Green Acres, because it's Green Acres. Anyway, it's 30 down. 1,502 to go. And Genevieve, big purple evil version, will take us back on to the 1400s. That'll be fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Thanks anyone who has liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed. And if you haven't, please do so. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.